When a patient ha has a mammography and it shows a lesion she sh and she's referred to a surgeon, she's panicked, she's scared to death. And the surgeon will usually talk about what kind of biopsy or how they're going to find out whether the lesion is cancer or not. The woman is usually not in a state to ask questions and will go along with whatever the surgeon tells her to do. So it could be a core biopsy, it could be an open biopsy, but the woman will pretty much trust a surgeon to make that decision. We know that about 90% of breast biopsies that are done for mammographic lesions are going to be benign. They won't be cancer. And so women are getting open biopsies the majority of the time when there's absolutely no benefit for them. In fact, even if it's cancer, they're better off to have it diagnosed ahead of time with a core biopsy and have a planned operation where the right amount of tissue can be taken out, lymph nodes, whatever needs to happen. When you have an excisional biopsy to diagnose a lesion, you're immediately making all the, the subsequent operations more difficult. And if you didn't need it, your mean, means taking out a lot of tissue and in a, in a bigger procedure that wasn't necessary. When a woman gets a suspicious mammogram and is told she needs a biopsy, she needs to ask, the, the and she's sitting there with a the surgeon, if the surgeon says you need an open excisional biopsy, she needs to say why. She should ask, could I have a core biopsy? How many core biopsies do you do? That would be a good hint as to whether this is a surgeon that's comfortable doing core biopsies or not. And if she feels at all uneasy with some of these answers, she should ask for a second opinion. She can either ask the surgeon to refer her, or probably better, she should find, uh, ask her friends, call the hotlines, and get another opinion at a different institution, somebody who specializes in breast biopsies or breast cancer and can, do, can give her another view on the best way to go.